Good morning everyone, this is a Tesla Model 3 long range rear wheel drive <coughs> and today we're going to do a range test at 130 kilometers an hour. It's freezing, it's minus 12 degrees and minus 11 and it's windy too, so it's horribly cold. This car has a heat pump, has 18 inch uh, winter tires on 235s everywhere um, and I'm charging here I wanted to charge 200% but I doubt it because it still says 40 minutes and I'm, I'm only charging with 50 kilowatt at around 60% so I doubt that uh, so most likely it will be 90% or something because I'm not gonna stand here for two hours like I said 40 minutes car has a 79 kilowatt hour battery rear wheel drive th over 300 horsepower I think it was 235 kilowatt um, and when I looked it up in the range should be amazing because this car is the most efficient um, Tesla there is Oh, not the most efficient, sorry, the, 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 the Tesla with the most range WLT, WLTP is 750 kilometers so I keep the car warm so we don't uh, lose energy, uh, we're, we're not using too much power to heat, but again it has a heat pump. I am on my way, I'm driving 131 because that's 130 GPS speed. I reset two trips just to be sure and the sense charging trip is automatically reset. I have my heat right now 22 degrees, seat heater on full, steering wheel heater on one. I have the heat in auto. It didn't want to clean my windshield. So maybe the, the washer fluid is empty, but it also didn't get any warning. So where it says, hey, the washer fluid is empty. So I don't know. We'll see. Minus 11 degrees. I charged to the 90%, like I said, from 40 to the 90% took uh, 54 minutes. And it would take another 20 minutes to get to 100%. And I was not willing to do that. It's fine like this. Come on, it can do it. <laughs> As always, autopilot. I'm not the biggest fan. Already had phantom braking once, and uh, I was on the left lane, and it, it steered a bit too much to the right for me. I wanted to bit more on the left, and when you steer a bit, it just turns off, and it's just annoying. I don't get it. And then the resume. There's no resume function, so you have to drive the speed again. Why, why are you... Oh, see? Uh, I can do it. And by the way, it would help me a lot if you would like this video and maybe subscribe. So many viewers are not subscribed and they don't notice if a new video is uploaded. Uh, and by the way, I have an air pressure warning, tire pressure warning, but since I have the car and it's not far off, so all, all our uh, tires are 2.8 bars, which is high, but not for Tesla, they want 3.0, but I guess it's from the really low temperatures, minus eight, minus 8 degrees, and one is a 2.7, and this is what the problem is. But for example, this morning when I got into the car, three tires said they don't have enough tire pressure, so it's all about the temperature. If it would get a bit warmer, it would already be okay. I used 25% of the battery, I'm at 68%, drove 88 kilometers. Oh my god, what is that? 88 times 4, 320, 354, uh, 352, I think. Um, consumption 218 watt hours per kilometer or 21.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Really amazing that average speed. I turned my autopilot off, it was annoying me because it didn't do what I wanted 
a steering assist to do and then also I, I stopped to clean the windshield and then when I put on uh, autopilot it does the automatic wiping turning on automatically there's nothing you can do it just does it and it wiped and now the windshield is dirty again I didn't want to wipe and if you want to support the channel you can do that here on YouTube via channel membership and you get something for it you get early access to every video when I upload it right away members can watch it and also if something very very important is happening you get to be informed first So how is the Tesla Model 3 rear-wheel drive long range uh, at 130 kilometers an hour and it's really good. So consumption like I said is phenomenal. Um, the ride comfort gotten better. They really improved the ride comfort. The same with the noise. It's really nice in here. The adaptive cruise control is okay. It does its thing. Autopilot is just I'm sorry, it's just not my thing. I, I, I'm not a fan at all how it handles the steering, that you can't adjust it uh, when it's driving for your comfort too much to the left or to the right. And then the automatic lane change is a bit too slow. Um, yeah, it's, that's why I drive without it. It's just way more comfortable the whole time beeping and everything. But driving is really okay. I'm, I'm I'm surprised. It really gotten better than the last Model 3 Highland I drove. Can't even remember when that was. I think in the summer? Maybe it was even 2024. I can't remember. No, I think it was 20... I don't know. It's been a while. But it's really okay. Still minus 10 degrees out there. I used 30% for 107 kilometers. The range is phenomenal in the winter. I have used 50% of my battery, drove 169 kilometers, so full range 338, I think, if I uh, calculate uh, correctly. Uh, my average consumption went up a bit to 226, almost 227, that's fine. Um, still minus 9 degrees, I turned the heat down a tiny bit. Um, and uh, I could clean my windshield when someone was driving by and spraying up a lot. That was nice, I almost went out and bought a washer fluid. But I would so want to do that when I'm charging, when I'm back for the next test. Yeah, but still 300, almost 340 kilometers in this weather is incredible. The car is amazing when it comes to range. The, that's what Tesla can do best. Efficient motors and efficient car, it's incredible. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I started vlogging on my third channel behind the battery. So everything that happens around the car, or if I get new info about something, really awesome. Subscribe and watch. I turned around, navigated back to the charger. I will preheat the battery. So this is the winter range test and I think uh, preheating the battery is included in this. Finally, speed limit is over, but it was just a few kilometers. Um, it should arrive with around 16%. And my windshield is dirty again because I turned on cruise control and the wipers went in auto again and wiped and then it looked like this yeah this is an awesome thing tesla great why you would you let me choose if i want auto or not <laughs> Now 
Do you want to charge for free? Of course you do. And how can you do that? With NCharge. NCharge is an app. You install it on your phone and when you are at the charger, you rate the charger. You give NCharge the information if there is something wrong, if there's something that can be improved and you get uh, kilometers and stars for this and these you can exchange for charging credit. A new function in Germany and France. You can use the app right away to start charging at a charger. Use the link in the description below to get 20 kilometers to start with. Can't see anything. I arrived with 16%. Uh, drove exactly 250 kilometers. 229 watt hours per kilometer was my average consumption. It's 1024. I have to deduct three minutes for the uh, cleaning the windshield. So I'm totally mad. <laughs> <laughs> I saw so the washer fluid must be empty that's why it's not working because I preheated there's an extra button which is amazing I preheated the nozzles so the spray should work I've, I bought one for 17 euros put maybe this much in that's it and it still doesn't work so uh, something is frozen and it doesn't work and the car was in the garage all night where it's not that cold i calculated the range and get to 373 kilometers of range which is amazing in these conditions it's really great amazing car when it comes to range um, if you want to compare range results um, from other cars to this uh, in the link in the description is a link to a Google spreadsheet not in the link in the description below is a link to a Google spreadsheet where all my range tests and all my long distance tests are in there uh, I'm charging now to 80% then we could do the next test yes <laughs> if you want to follow me on Instagram betalife1 but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye